This is Temple OS 5 Minute Random Code Walkthrough, episode 94, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. <coughs> so God took us to scan key. Oh boy, 5 Minute Random Code Walkthrough. This is uh, kind of na This is nasty. Okay, so um, I make a distinction between get key and get char. Um, get char is for an ASCII value. Get key is for a scan code value. It also returns the ASCII. Um, so I put I put ASCII in CH and scan codes in SC. Now the scan codes are broken down by uh, byte zero is the code, byte one to three are the flags, and then byte four is the code, and byte five to seven are the flags. What this means is uh, it repeats the, uh, sometimes you want left shift and right shift distinct. Most of the times you want left shift and right shift the same. And so the low byte has them the same. Um, the upper the upper bytes have, has them distinct. Anyway, so... Uh, so the flags, um, some of the flags are, uh, okay, now this is um, tricky. I put, normally key up is bit 7. I made bit 7 uh, um, the E0 prefix. And if you know about scan codes, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, cursor keys have, are actually two byte um, codes. And uh, I put them into one um, by uh, cursor keys are are usually e e zero followed by another byte, and uh, um, basically I I, uh, I fixed it so that um, that the scan code is one byte, and the up the bit seven of that one byte is uh, the e zero prefix present. Anyway, so some of these other flags. If the control key is pressed, if alt is pressed, it's cap and unlock. Um, you, it even has some for uh, with left mouse button pressed at the same time. Anyway, so uh, um, so that's what scan codes are. Now, getting back to where we um, landed. So, um, okay, there's actually one more thing. You have keys, you have characters, and you have messages. So... Uh, a message is uh, is uh, either a key down, key up, input pointer move, input, this is mouse, mouse move, mouse left, left down, left up, left, right down. Okay, so uh, um, I, I only have a limited number of messages. Um, that's where I'm different from Windows. And when you want to, to ask for messages, you, uh, you uh, hey, that's kind of weird. Oh. Anyway, now I'm really freaking out. Those are bits. Okay, anyway, those are bit values. That's kind of... Oh, well. Anyway, so, uh, uh, let's see. So, um, we were in uh, scan key, or scan... We were in scan key, weren't we? So, this one um, waits until a key is pressed. And it uh, it erases all the other uh, it purges all the other messages, except keystrokes. And when it does get a key, it uh, it uh, it removes it from the queue. So the, there's no way to 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 scan for a key without removing it. So in other words, uh, if you call scan scan key. It will wait until you get a key, a message key down, and it will uh, it will get rid of it. Um, I'm sorry, it will uh, return it. Now you can leave these have null parameters. If you uh, ch is is always the ASCII scan code or sc is always the scan code, and then if you want you can echo the uh, the key as it's pressed. Um, so uh, let's see how we're doing. So uh, that's that. What it has to do is it has to uh, well for for scan char it has to wait for uh, uh, if it's zero we, there's no key. If there is a key, then we wait until the the up 
is received. Um, and actually, this is waiting for a, an ASCII that's not zero. If you press a cursor key, that that gives a, a zero ASCII value and a, uh, a scan code. So that's just for your information. Um, so CH is always asking. The Boolean is telling us uh, if we got a key or not. This this returns. This doesn't wait for a key. It immediately returns. Um, this one waits until it gets a uh, an ASCII a, a non-zero ASCII. So this one scan character will ignore um, cursor keys. Um, scan key will uh, will return cursor keys. So. Uh, Anyway, you don't have to pass parameters to, to receive. If you pass null, it will just throw them away. So anyway, so that's that.